Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at villager trades. These trades can be for any villager, um, not just custom ones, but it does give you the option uh, to give you give your custom villagers um, different trades. So you can go ahead and basically place down a block. This is the block that I have for the workstation, so it'll keep coming back to it. And as you can see, there's different... Um, different trades based on the uh, item, like based on each tier. So I have three trades for the first one, and I believe three for the second one. So it'll be random depending on uh, what I go ahead and uh, trade with. So uh, the next one, it gave us a few different, different items. There's three in total for the bottom one as well, but you can add as many as you want. So we'll just try this again. And it seems like we can go ahead and get another one. So we can place that in there, place some sticks, and hopefully he'll give us something a little bit different. Uh, same, <laughs> same exact trades. So you might want to make a little bit more than just a couple things, unless it's like you really need those particular things. But uh, this one's, uh, we, we need to grab a couple things from the inventory. So we'll grab that. Seems like they're all going to the meeting place at the moment, so I'm not sure which one I needed to talk to. That one, so we'll grab those. And we'll see what kind of trades he gets. So we got the bamboo, so there we go. Uh, we can give him a iron axe for one and one emerald to get some bamboo. So that's basically how the trades work. It's just like regular vanilla trades, but you can assign it to the custom villagers and other villagers as well. So looking at the element, it's down at the bottom here, right underneath villager profession. And then what you can do is you can actually create, click on it, and then it will give you a prompt for the villager trade name. So you'll be able to call it whatever you want. This is basically what it would look like. That's the one that I used. And we'll just cover over uh, creating one from scratch. I'm just gonna put in a dummy name for their for now. Uh, you can add multiple professions if you wanted to and select any of the vanilla ones. Your custom ones will be at the top here. And you can also delete them. And you can also um, go ahead and select any one that you want for the profession. Uh, the first price is usually the emerald, uh, unless it, the emerald is the you need to buy something with the emerald and then it would be the emerald would be over on the second slot with the item that you need to trade with on the first slot. Uh, you also have the count for both of these items so you can choose any one of these that you want so you have all the access to all the items and blocks so basically that would be the item there and then you can go ahead and I don't know just choose iron ignits or something like that just whatever item that you want and then you can go ahead and have that system. Your counts again are on these sides, so how many items it requires. And then your elf offer item is basically the item that you would be getting from the trade. So over on the level side, you have the different levels of the um, trader. Uh, New Vince, it would be the beginning, master is the lowest. So basically, in order to do this, what you would do is you have it on the uh, lowest one and then you would go ahead and create a few different other ones like apprentice and then you would have another apprentice and another apprentice or how many ever you want for the actual trades for that uh, particular group and then it will randomize between a couple of the trades so the trades are always going to be roughly around two per thing so it's important to know that you have the thing, you have the maximum trades and then the villager, gain villager XP, that's how much the villager will get uh, when it multiplies and then the price multiplier. This is basically how much, um, I think it has to do with the uh, trade when it you sell too many items. So that's basically it. Uh, that's all the things that you need to know about. Uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.